I am feeling a little light this evening, as in lightweight Linux distribution. And in this case, I am taking a look at Lubuntu 11.10, running it inside the uh, virtual box with Linux Mint 11 as the host. All right, let's take a quick look at the Lubuntu.net website. All right, L Lubuntu is a faster, more lightweight, and energy-saving variant of Ubuntu using LXDE, the lightweight X11 desktop environment. It is targeted at normal PC and laptop users running on low-spec hardware. Now, basically, something like this. If you have an older computer, oh, let's say 512 megabytes of RAM or less, then you may want to give this one a look. All right, let's go back to the operating system itself. This is the default environment, the default desktop with the default wallpaper. All right, moving right along, let's right click desktop preferences. Now this is, as stated, a lightweight operating system. I was able to download this and this will fit uh, on a CD versus a DVD. I think it was less than 700, 700 megabytes total. All right, you have about, what, six kinds of wallpaper here, default at the bottom. Oh, let's see. Natty Bug, nah. Let's try Glass Beauty. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that looks cool. All right, let's go from the bottom, work our way left. Of course, the Session Manager. The time and the date. Keep in mind that the time is defaulted to military format and not 12 hour format. Now, by the way, it says here new drivers available. You should always download drivers and or updates for your new operating system before you start to use it full time. All right. Wired connection, of course, and volume. Let me get out of the calendar here and there's volume. Okay, if you right click on the panel bar at the bottom, click about, and of course it'll say LX panel. This is version 058. And you have other options here. You can add or remove panel items such as you see here and you can move the panel to the top if you so choose to. Alright, to the left we have desktop, workspace 1 and 2. And it says here, left click to iconify all the windows. I'll leave it the way it is. Chrome is the default browser. And let's go to Toss Today. Click that. Missing plugin. Now remember, I said you should download all the updates. This includes Codex, too, by the way. Now, in this situation, if I had uh, if I had the um, internet already connected as I was installing this, it would have downloaded at least some of the codecs to get this thing running full speed. But in this situation right now, all I have to go is uh, do is go to the Synaptic Package Manager and download Lubuntu Restricted Extras. Got it? All right, good. Okay. Let's see, the file manager, and nice, clean, if rather sparse looking file manager, which is fine. That's what this was made for. Let's click the start button here, as I like to call it. You have accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, sound and menu, system tools, preferences, run, log out. Now I won't go through every single one of these, but let me just highlight one from each menu submenu. Under accessories, let's see, what shall we try? Let's take a look at the uh, this utility. And it gives me something about my storage devices, uh, hard drives, so on and so forth. Okay, that's fine. Moving right along. Let's go to games and you have, let's see, can't feel free cell golf mastermind again these are low resource type of games of course that's what this uh, OS was designed for and that's fine graphics so let's see let's try paint empty paint okay nice go back 
internet of course we looked at the web browser let's go to office all right Abbey word this is another lightweight type of a um, word processor should handle almost anything light that you need to type let's see we left off at the what office sound and video oh what do we have here audacious gnome X burn. Let's try uh, NGUVCV. Let's try Audacious. All right. Again, a very lightweight music player. I would recommend probably downloading uh, Rhythmbox and or um, Banshee. System tools. All right. Probably here, uh, the two most important uh, submenus here would be the Update Manager and the Synapt Synaptic package manager let's click update manager and there's probably going to be some updates yep there are 146 updates 144 megabytes will be downloaded I won't do this since I'm running this inside a virtual machine and then I will not be keeping it but definitely download all the updates available all right preferences let's see it's like you got lots to choose from here Let's try uh, let's try look and feel. Let's have some fun here. Okay, let's see. Lubuntu default here to the left. And we have on the top color, icon, theme, mouse cursor, window border, font, and other stuff. That's kind of kind of boring. Um, cuckoo spit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me. I'm going to go with cuckoo, 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 spit. Oh, man. Oh, the open source community is so fun. Apply, and I'll leave it uh, with that theme, I guess. What's it look like? It changed the color somewhat. Okay, fine. <laughs> cuckoo, spit. Uh, I'm sorry. Can't stop laughing. And we have run. Run a command, and of course, the last thing is, uh, what was it? Log out, the session manager. All right, well, that in a nutshell is Lubuntu. I kind of like this cuckoo color, <laughs> actually. All right, it looks fine. Again, it's lightweight, uh, small download, download a relatively small download. I think it's less than 700 megabytes. Once again, if you are looking to keep alive an older machine, or even if you have a newer machine and, uh, and you just want it to run faster, I, in, I installed this in one of my older desktops. Um, it has, I think, like 1.2 uh, gigabytes of RAM, 2.0 processor, Runs fine. I may just keep it in there, um, or I might just sell it to someone. I haven't decided. But check out Lubuntu 11.10. Again, it's not much here, but it should have everything you need to get started. I'm not sure if I would recommend this for new users. It, it, if, if you are new, this does require uh, some tweaking to get it up to speed. Like one small gripe would be the clock here. It's in standard. 24-hour uh, format and there's no GUI installed to help you change it to a 12-hour format which means you would have to uh, change the uh, the command line here when you go to digital clock settings you'd have to type in some format codes here rather so but that's for another uh, toss cast or not toss cast but the screen cast altogether all right, well, that's it for my look at Lubuntu 11.10. Looks fine. It's it's definitely fast, stable, running inside a virtual machine. Looks good. And take a look if you wanted to upgrade or try and update an older PC. That's it. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will catch you sometime in the future. Ciao.